In our previous lectures, you've learned some properties of logarithms. Well, today we learn about three standard laws of logarithm. Well, remember in the first lecture I told you that actually logarithms help convert or change big multiplication and division problems into addition and subtraction? Well, today I'll tell you the secret behind it. How does logarithm does that? Well, the secret involves those three standard laws of logarithm that holds. We will learn them today. Well, log mn to the base a is actually equal to log m to the base a plus log n to the base a. Well, what did I say? See, this is the product of two numbers. Okay, so if I say this is a big number, or this is a product of two big numbers, instead of finding out the log of such big number, what you can do is, you can separate those two numbers. And you can find out the log of the, them separately and then add them up. Well, seriously? Yes. You can see this big multiplication is actually changed into addition. So instead of finding out the log of this big number, you can actually find out the log of them separately and then just add them up. This law is actually known as the product law. How does this help? Well, let us find out, say, log of 64 to the base 4. Well, this is not a very big number, but just to understand this law, we are taking a small number now. Well, the 64 can be expressed as a product of two numbers. Say, this is log of 4 into 16 to the base 4. Right? So now it has become product of two numbers. Now, according to our law, what you can do is find out the log of 4 to the base 4 and find out the log of 16 to the base 4 and then add them up and see what you get the answer. You will get the correct answer only. See. To find out log of 64 to the base 4, what did we do? We separated 64, that is 4 into 16. Now, finding out both different, like log 4 to the base 4 and log 16 to the base 4. Finding out both of them separately and then adding them up. Find out this. Now, instead of finding out log 64 to the base 4 directly, what we have done is we have split it up. Now, you know that log a to the base a is always 1. In our previous lectures, I have told you that log of a to the base a is always, always 1. So here log 4 to the base 4 is 1 plus log 16 to the base 4 is how much? 2 because 4 to the power 2 is equal to 16. 4 multiplied with itself 2 times gives you 16. So 1 plus 2 gives you 3. Well, see, if, even if you found out this directly, how much would you have get? 4 into 4 into 4, that is 3 times. So 4 multiplied with itself 3 times gives you 64. So this is what the answer you get. So remember, this is called the product law, where you split this number, that is a big number, you split them up, find out the log individually or separately, and then add it up. Now this actually holds true for not only just two numbers, for many numbers you want. For example, there is a big, big number which can be expressed as a product of many numbers, say M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, say five numbers. So even then this product holds. You can find out the log of those numbers separately. You can go out finding out the log of them separately and add them up all together at last. Now we have another law that changes division to subtraction. See, if you have log of M by N to the base A, then it can be solved by finding out log of m to the base a, finding out log of n to the base a. And then you need to subtract the log of n to the base a from the log of m to the base a. Well, can you see one thing? Whatever we are doing, we are keeping the base same. So the base should not change. Don't even forget to write the base uh, here because if all the bases are 10, then it's okay. It will seem as if the log of the, uh, the base of this log is 10. But if you forget to write the base, your answer will be wrong. So remember that A is always a positive real number and N is a national number, rational number. So here you can see log of M to the log of M by N to the base A can be written as log of M to the base A minus log N to the base A. And this is known as quotient law. How, how is this useful? I'll show you. Well, see this. Log of 27 by 9 to the base 3. Again, that this is not a big number, but for you to understand, we've taken a small number. 
So this is a small number. You see log of 27 by 9 is equal to the base 3. How will you find that with the help of this quotient law? See, it is in the form of this, where 3 acts as A. And this is M by N. So M is 27 and N is 9. We have to find out log M to the base A and log N to the base A. So log A is 3, M is 27 minus log, again same base, and N. N is 9. Like this. Now solve this. Now log of 27 to the base 3, easy, 3 into 3 into 3. So 3 times 3 gives you 27. So log of 27 to the base 3 is 3 minus log, log of 9 to the base 3 is what? 3 into 3, that is multiplying 3 with itself, 2 times give you 9. So 2. So the answer is 1. Right? Now even if without doing this, you had solved this, say, like this. So log of A to the base A is always 1. So log of 3 to the base 3 would give you 1. We have a third law, that is the power law. Now this is very, very helpful, let me tell you. Log of m to the power n to the base a can actually be solved by taking this n, that is this power, to this side. So bringing this power to this side, that is multiplying this power to the log itself can give you the answer. Suppose you have log 4 to the base 2 and 4 has a power of 627 with itself, 672 with itself say. So 4 to the power 672, you have to find out the log of this number to the base 2. Well that means you have to find out first 4 multiplied with itself 672 number of times and then find out the log. Well that's really tough. So the third law of logarithm states that, the power law states that instead of finding out this big number, what you can do is just transfer this to this side and multiply this power with the entire log except this power. So what you will do is write it as 672 into log 2 to the power 4. That's easy. You did not have to find 4 to the power 672 first and then the log of it. Just transfer this power to this side and find out the answer. See, now it's really, really easy to find out. Log 4 to the base 2 is 2. So just find out 672 into 2 and you get the answer. It's 1944. Easy. So you see how power law is really, really useful. Now you will see how we apply all these three laws in just a single sum. Express log of a square b by root over c to the base 10 in terms of log a, log b and log c. You have to simplify this. How will you do this? I'll help you. First of all, you see that we have to find out log a square b by root over c to the base 10. So sim we have what we have to do? We have to first simplify this. So remember any law? This is actually which form? mn, m by n, m to the power n, which form? Well, first I can see this is actually m by n form where m is a square b and n is root over c. You can see that? So we will actually use the quotient law first, which actually changes division to subtraction here. So what we will do is we can write this as log to the base 10, a square b minus log to the base 10, c, I'm keeping the base same, root over c. So instead of m by n, we have changed it to log of m minus log of 10. Log of m minus log of n. See? Now simply, we will take it forward. Now this root over c, you know, can be also written as c to the power half. You know this? Now, next product law will be useful. How? You see that this is actually in the form of m into n now. First it was in the form of m by n, where m was this and this was n. And now this, in the, this, this is in the form of m n, where m is a square and b is n. So now the product law will help us. 
log of a square plus c log of b minus log of c to the power half you get this we have used the product law to actually split this mn next what we will do next you can see that here also we are having a power and even here we are having a power so a is carrying a power with itself b is normal and c is also carrying a power with itself and we had to express this in the terms of log a log b and log c those a b and c should not contain power so what we will do we will use the power law we will take the power to this side and this power can be expressed like this similarly change this tell me how will we express this with the help of power law this power comes to this side so 2 log a to the base 10 plus log b to the base 10 minus this power comes to this side so half log c to the base 10 and there we go with our answer so this is how you use these three standard logs of logarithm